Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Whimsical Wonder Farm. It is a sunny, beautiful day today. I'm running about 10 minutes late on milking. <laughs> but today we're going to go do our chores, and then I am going to show you how to look at the ligaments and find the ligaments on a goat that is bred that's due soon. I'll try my best to give you some examples on how to tell when your goat is getting close to going into labor. We're seven days out with Freedom right now, so of course we're going to use her. And I'll show you how to find the ligaments on a regular goat that's not bred. And yeah, so let's do it. All right, I know this is going to be kind of gross, but I just want you all to see that at the end of the pregnancy, I, I'll be surprised if she only has two in there. I'm believing three or maybe four. But you see the little puddle down there? She can't even control her urine anymore. She coughs, sneezes, and it just leaks out. A lot of us women can relate to that at the end of our pregnancies. All right, she sneezed real hard, and she pee-peed all over the floor. Poor bye -bye. All right, let's show them how we check for ligaments, Freedom. Come down here where you're flat. Come on. Good girl. All right, so you're going to take your hands on her spine, and you're going to run it all the way down, and you put a little pressure on it to so see how it's indented. And look, she's already got indents. But you push it all the way down until you find the ligaments. And they start about, hold on, let me find them. Right there. Okay, so she's got a ligament coming off this way. Super soft, though. A ligament coming off that way. So you just push and roll it down, and then you'll find the ligaments. And they're spread out and soft because we only have seven days left. I wouldn't be surprised if she went a little bit early, but this one had four and she went right on time, maybe a day late. So let's show you how to check the ligaments on a non-bred dough. Same thing, run it down and hers start right there, right there. You can feel those ligaments, they're big, they're about that size, size of a, like a pencil coming off right there and right there. So. Feel on one of your does that are not bred, or a weather, or a buck. Just run your head, just keep practicing until you get the feel of what you're feeling for. And then when you have a bred doe, and let's say she's due, you know, within a week, you just start, you start earlier, but if you're just learning this, you can start now, and then just start filling it down. And then pretty soon, you're gonna be able to pinch the tail head and have your fingers touch and then once those ligaments are completely gone then we're gonna have babies but sometimes the ligaments will go or one side will go and then you'll come back a couple hours later check it again and it'll come back so they go and come a little bit but if that the real indicators is ligaments gone and utter like explosive that's what's been for me. A lot of times people say their, their goats don't utter up, you know, bag up and get all huge and shiny until while they're in labor. That might be true for some, but I've had plenty of goats come in and out of here. And uh, most of them, almost all, well, every single one of them actually, bag up right as they're starting early, early labor. Like you can tell they're uncomfortable and their bag is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But it, we'll show you along the way what it looks like. But yep, so we're getting closer and this is Freedom. Our little Freedom girl. 